all my excess clay I'm going to put back in my bag. I don't want to use this clay for my handle. And the reason for that is the handle, I want it to not have any blemishes. In it. So I'm going to cut some new clay. Cut out this little piece for the handle. When making a handle, uh, I want to use a, a newer clay because if there's any inconsistencies or something wrong with the clay inside here, it's going to break right there. I'm going to make like a wedge. And this is called a pooled handle, okay? You don't need a whole lot of clay for this. This is plenty enough. And you just need a little bit of water. You don't need a whole lot of water, okay? But this hand stays dry. This hand gets wet, okay? I'm going to come over here, and I just pull that clay. And as I'm pulling, you see how it's nice and slippery? And then once my hand starts to grip, I want to get a little bit more water. And I'm rotating it back and forth with my top hand. And this hand grabs and just comes all the way down. I can make it a little bit more flat. Okay, that's looking good. You guys like that handle? You guys don't even know what handles look like yet, huh? <laughs> all right. So pull it out, pull from the top a little bit more, get it out. Okay, once I have it, you see how this hand's holding upside down now? It's because I'm going to, I'm not going to touch anything. If I touch here, it leaves fingerprints and it doesn't look so nice. So don't do that. You just pull all the way down, pull the bottom, and then I have a nice handle. If I need to bend it a little bit more, touch on the inside, not, don't pull here, just here, okay? So I have a nice handle, and that's going to fit on my mug like that, okay? I'll make it a little bit more broad. Okay. I'm going to let it sit so it can dry. So sorry, I just set it down here so it can sit and dry, and then I'll just let that dry out slowly, okay? After I let that dry for a little bit, I'm going to uh, cut it. I'm going to cut the handle here and here. And then it'll be dry enough that I can touch it and I can score it and slip it onto the side. And that's how you pull a hand. Okay. Make sure you guys keep washing your hands. Clean up your workspace because I know your mom is going to get upset if you don't clean. So make sure you guys clean, clean, clean. Okay. I'm going to attach the handle now that it is dry. It's pretty dry. I'm going to cut, or first, I'm going to look at to see what it looks like on the side. So I'll hold up my project, and then I'll see, do I like the handle like that? Eh, yeah, probably the handle will be like that. Yeah, that worked. Okay. So then... I go and I cut my handle with the knife. Okay, cut way down here. And then I'll, I'll cut extra down here just in case I want more. Okay. So here. So the handle would look something like this. There. Okay, that's a nice shape. All right. So I, I have the shape of how my handle would look so that you guys can see. Okay. I don't put my my cylinder directly onto the banding wheel. If you do put it directly on the banding wheel, what happens is clay might stick to the banding wheel, so I don't do it directly on it. Okay, and that's a nice looking shape to that mug right there. It's a little bit off, you can see from the camera, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. All right. So here, I have my two marks here and here where the seam is. So that's where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna hold this here. I'm gonna mark the outside, the top, and the bottom. I wanna make sure that this is straight up and down, I'm not gonna be at an angle like that or like that. Okay, so just double check it, mark it. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my uh, scraper tool 
and uh, scrape the sides where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to score it, score it, score, score. Okay. I'm going to score this also. So I scored both of them. Then I'm going to slip them. And to slip on. Then I'm going to attach it. When I go to attach it, I start at the top. I'm going to support on the inside and I'm going to push in with this hand. Just like that. As a nice, good, solid. Uh, connection and the same thing on the bottom support and then push in a little bit you guys can see how the clay kind of bent once I do that I'm gonna make a coil to go around it just use a little piece of clay so that should be enough it's a good enough coil you can roll it out on the table too if you want and dip it into my Slip. I'm gonna wrap it around here. Uh, it would be easier if I get this. In. Wrap this around here, and this is just gonna be for extra strength. And then I'm not gonna leave it like that. That looks ugly. Do the same thing for the bottom. Coils there. Once I have the coil in, I can go with the paintbrush and paint over a little bit, but I need to smooth it out. Make sure it's nice and clean. Use the edge of the modeling tool to smooth it out. And I'm going to smooth everything around, all the way around. If you have like an old marker or something kind of rubber tip, that would work too. But these work fine. If you have small fingers with no fingernail, with no long fingernails, perfect. Sometimes my fat fingers get in the way though. Okay. So smooth it out like that. Just get nice and particular. Now, I will not pick up this mug by the handle like this at all. Okay? You don't want to do that. If you pick it up, it might hold if you did a really good job. But most likely it's going to break. So we're always going to carry it from the sides and the bottom. I'm just going to feel to see how it feels, if I'm happy with it. Make sure your hand fits in there how you like it. Check this side too. Is it as smooth as you like it? Because I'm right-handed. This is going to be my drinking side. You can check the left side too. If someone's left-handed, you might give it to or sell it to Okay, so smooth it out nicely, smooth out the bottom. Now if something's not 100% symmetrical, that doesn't mean that it's a not, not a nice piece. That means that it has some character to it, that it's a one of a kind. There's no other ones like it out there. This is a hand built mug. So it doesn't have to, everything doesn't have to be like super even the same on both sides when you do that then it becomes boring and it's the same thing as a mug that you can go and buy at any store or online from those mug print shops or whatever okay to get to the bottom i can work on the knee or i can just grab the whole thing support with one hand and smooth out like that
Every project that you do needs to have it. Your name. Your mark. So when someone sees it, they can say, hey, I want a mug like that. So who do they see? They come see me, Capable Mug Mug. Or they come see you. If I leave it out to dry like this, it, it might dry unevenly and uh, uh, the handle might crack off. So I need to cover the handle very carefully. So I just get a bag and I cut it. And then I just wrap the edges or the connections of the handle where it connects to the project. I just wrap it real gently. This way it won't dry faster than the rest of the mug. Then I'll take another real light bag and cover the whole thing. And it's ready to get to dry out, get hard, and then get fired. Now, because you guys don't have your kiln with you, or you don't have a kiln, uh, you're gonna have to bring it to get fired. Be very careful in the car when you take it. You know, make sure it's not gonna be falling all over the place or hitting other pieces, because when it gets bone dry stage, it's very fragile. Things can break off easy.